Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This one, for folks like me, this one's huge. This is the effects keyframe update in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, hands up if you've ever used After Effects and used the Uber key. The Uber key turns everything off except the keyframes you've added. This is essential if you're working with a very complex project with a lot of keyframes. Premiere Pro has never had this until now. Woo this is huge. It allows you to just filter out the keyframes that you're looking at and hide everything else. And you can add keyboard shortcuts so you can make it the U key like After Effects, the Uber key. Um, there are three different modes I'll show you and then I'm going to open up a, a motion graphics template that I created that you can download into Premiere Pro, which was a nightmare for me to edit. Let's go have a look. Okay, so here we've got a clip and I've got a lot of effects on here and you can see all the way from the top uh, in the motion. I've got some motion effects and scale. I threw some Gaussian blurs on here so it blurs every now and then. And then I've got this crazy magnify effect. All of these things and then a basic 3D swivel stuff going on here. Lots of things all going on. And to edit these I have to keep going all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Well there's a new command right down here, this little funnel filter. If you click on it there are now three modes, show all properties, which is the default, or show only keyframe properties or only edited properly. So let's try only keyframe properties and watch the left hand side, boom. Now these, the audio ones here show up because Adobe does put um, default keyframes for those. So. Disregard that. If you didn't have an audio uh, a clip attached to this, then you wouldn't see it. But now look at this. Now I can see these keyframes. There's no scroll bar. Everything is in one area. And this is really essential if I was trying to line this keyframe up with that keyframe, that keyframe. So if I was trying to do that and I couldn't see that, I would have to go all the way up and all the way down. Now the other one is show only edited properties. And this still shows me uh, any keyframe properties, but also any edited properties. So let's go over to this clip, which has had nothing done to it. And we'll start with Alt Properties, and I'll close this up. So I'm holding the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, and you, when you click it closes or opens all of them. So let's look at Only Edited Properties, and now you can see only the edited properties. And like I said, these are the ones that are on by default. Uh, they just turn on automatically. But this is useful if you don't have keyframes, but you did make a change. Because not all uh, effects changes um, re require keyframes. So sometimes you've just added, maybe let's go in here and uh, I'll turn this back on. And in motion, I'll change the scale to 105. Close all of that up. And now again, I'll go back and choose only edited properties. And you can see scale shows. There's no keyframe, but this is still incredibly useful. Sometimes you're trying to uh, figure out what is happening in that clip and you couldn't remember that you scaled that five extra percent. Now you can just hide everything else and see that. Let's go look at the keyboard shortcuts you can add. So in the edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, keyboard shortcuts. And in the search field, just search for show only. And you'll see now show only edited properties, show only keyframe properties. So I can click in here and I'll, I'll add the U key. And it's telling me it's already used from the slide tool. Well, I'm going to use that. I don't use the, I use the slip, but not the slide tool a lot. So I'm going to use that anyway. So let's go back over to this one here, and we're showing everything. I'll close all of this up, and, and I also want to point this out. Notice these little circles. They don't look like keyframes. This drives me really crazy because you have to twirl open those properties to get to the keyframe to edit it. You can see that there are keyframes that are collapsed, but you can't edit them. So remember, I've got the U key. 
hey, I hit the U key. Now I can edit all of those keyframes. Now, if you are an After Effects user, you would tap the U key a second time to go back and forth. These, you can't do that here. That's because there are three properties, not two. So the Uber key only gets you to that uh, show only keyframe properties. All right, now let's go to our graphics workspace and you can do this yourself. And we're going to browse Adobe Stock. And if you type in Video Revealed, and let's go to, okay. Well, these are the ones that Adobe commissioned me for, and it seems to have, uh, They seem to have removed removed Mondrian. So this is a transition that I created. And I'll drag this down. And I'll select it. And you can see over here on the right how many shapes are going on. Well, each one of these shapes also has a whole bunch of keyframes on it because it's animating the properties of this over time. So each one of these is being animated. Yes, this took a huge amount of work. And then they all fade out. Well, imagine me opening up every single one of these. I actually moved the effects control panel to a second 4K monitor and dragged it all the way from top to bottom, I still had to scroll up and down. So now let's hit the Uber key for this one. So there we go. We're now showing only the keyframe properties. This looks like it's still a lot, but this is much easier for me to edit. Still a lot of properties, but a lot easier. In fact, here is an example. I've taken a screenshot of it open with the filter and without the filter. So there you go. If you're like me, if you're someone who does editing a lot of keyframes, you're going to love this because you just get to focus on the stuff you're working on and everything else can go away. Because a lot of times you're just working on three or four effects um, and, and only those properties and literally dozens of the other ones just get in the way. Hey, if you're new to video or video and you have found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video and on the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to alert you to these huge time savers that you might easily miss.